But yeah, so we're going to head on our way over to the castle whilst I wait for my goddamn phone to load. But yeah, I've, been, I've taken a few days off the stream, man, only because I've, I've needed to catch up my sleep so much right now. I just haven't been sleeping for days, but I'm alright. I've started a little bit later than I normally start, about 50 minutes late, but we're here. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So once I can get my phone to load up my stream, just so that I know what is working, we can get ourselves on the way. So yeah, today we'll probably finish the rest of the mandatory star of disc 3. So that's going to involve us going to... Uh, oh, fuck it, I'm going to spoil it. We're going to end up going to Trino. And we're probably kind of coming back to Alexandria, so we've got that going for us. So again, last time we picked up the Angel Bless... For Zidane, which is really important right now for him, because that way he learns a th ability thievery, which again is something we're going to be powering up at the start of disc three here. Sorry if I'm looking down, I'm just trying to get my phone to load up this goddamn stream. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Just so I know it's working. No, I don't want to hear all that. Anyway, that was loaded up. So, I can go up here to pick up some cards. But I'm th not going to. I think if you wait till this four, you actually get better cards from it, which is really odd. But but anyway, let's head on out. We want to go towards Alexandria Castle. My phone still loaded up this stream. Hey man, there are so many things to prepare for Princess Carlos coronation. You crack on with that. Oh yeah, there we go. Yes, there we go. Bang in. So, I think we've already talked to all these people. Yeah, we talked to them in the last stream. So, let's head on up. Let's go see our queen. Oh, it's free. We haven't seen her since this too. That agent of bright doesn't even stop by and say hello. Well, I'm here now, Freya, right? I know we're a few days late, but I'm here. I love the stare down here. What are you staring at? Are you really that tough? Oh, they immediately go into a fight. Watch out, Freya. Armand's got 8,000 HP. I worked that out myself. I don't go looking for trouble, but if I'll fight back, if trouble finds me. Why don't you apologize and maybe I'll forgive you? Ha! I love how the guards just stand there and go, Oh, stop right now. I'll charge you both with disorderly conduct. Oh, yes. I'm sure you were going to stop these two. Hey, what's going on? Agent Wright. I'd love to stop by and talk, but I'm busy right now. Is she a friend of yours? Then tell her who I am. Tell her I'm the flaming Amarant. You're a flaming asshole at the moment. Shut up. Sorry, Amarant. Oh, I got the wrong voice. Sorry, Amarant. She's just a little worked up about something. Sorry, babe. They're my friends. Will you let them go for my sake? Oh, Zidane is a proper flirt. Sh sure. Princess Carl asked us to give special treatment to you, Master Twitch, and Miss Freya. I, I see, thanks. Hey, Fred, stop being so mad, alright? Do you know why I'm really mad? The fact that we left you in Alexandria? It's because of you! Where have you been? Dag is about to become queen and you're off wandering about. Have you found out anything more about Kuja? Well, answer me, alright? Fucking hell, Fred. A million and one questions. Um, yeah, about that? Well, I tried to find more info, but. Did you even go to the Outer Continent, Freya? You don't realise what we've had to go through. You haven't even been up the Ether Tree. Do you see how many times Stroper killed us? Look, if Kuja is responsible to take Dagger's idolons and Kill and Bron, who's working with him, don't you think he'd come after Dagger again? I know. Oh, Zidane. But what can I do? I couldn't even talk to her, remember? I don't even know if I can protect her. Besides, she's going to be queen. She'll have all the guards she needs. She won't need me. No, you're right, she won't. She's the queen of Alexandria. She's got all the guards in the world. Where did Vivi come from? But, Agent hey, Bright, I think Dagger wants to see you. So, let's go see her. Yeah. But we'll leave as soon as we're done. Agent hey, Bright, you're not getting away from me. You still owe me a rematch. Suit yourself. Amarant. Amarant don't give a shit. He just wants to fight. My name's Amarant and I want to fight. 
Okay, so they're gonna equip Freya for the first time since disc two. And she already has all the best equipment. Right, so well, we're not already gonna be fighting with her anytime soon, so well, we'll put the thunder gloves on her. Mithrama Yeah I'm, Well what are you call me now? What have I got two of? Magician shoes. Tell you what. I'll have your coral ring. Amaranth, uh, same with you, really. I'll have your reflect ring. Come on, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go! Can't you see his ears actually running on the spot to get on the boat? That is how eager he is. So let's go see our beloved Queen Garnet. You know, obviously she's too, too good to flow with us now, so... I like how there's one seat on that boat. Everyone else has to stand. Now, is there a treasure over here? No. But I know where there is one. So yeah, we're going to take a little detour. I think it's through here. Yes, it is. If we go over here... We get a Leo, which is more Stalazios for our collection. We're going to be cashing those in when we go to Trino. There are a few now. How many have we got? Uh, three. We have three. Ah, ah, ah. Three Stalazios to hand in. So I don't think there's anything if I go this way. Also, are there any treasures here? No, I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. No. It's blocked off. That's fine. Didn't want to go there anyway. So let's carry on going. Ah! Let me go! Oh god, it's rusty. This is no way to treat a lady! Oh god, what, what voice did I put for Steiner? I can't remember. Oh yeah, it was like the creepy old man voice. Stop screaming or I'll throw you in the dungeon. Gah! What happened, Ico? Agent Bright. Oh, it was horrible. That man in the rusted armor kept trying to throw me out and all I could hear was him rusting towards me. He called me a liar and a loudmouth and a brat. Well, to be honest, you have loudmouth equipped. So, you know, you can't be a loudmouth. He's right. <laughs> Amarant. What did you just say? Do you want to repeat that? Man, I hate kids. Calm down a little. What is your name? Me? I'm Aiko. Aiko Carol and Madain Sari. From a day Sari? Why, I've never heard of her. Yes, Freya, because whilst we were busy trying to go off on the outer continent, you were too busy being beat up in Alexandria. Silence! What are you all doing here? This is the Royal Castle. You've not been long here. Hello, Master Steiner. Or Mr. Steiner. Master Twitch, it's a pleasure to see you again. We came here to see Dagger. The princess, hmm. If it is Master Twitch's wish, I shall arrange a meeting. Well, because Vivi said we can do it. I'll tell you what, guys. If we Vivi in this game, we would have not left Evil Forest. We would just not have left. You all wait right there. Cool. Princess, we are ready. Oh, Sadan's going to see Garnet for the first time. Oh, she's in a dress. Was she in a dress at the start of the game? I'm pretty sure she was. Pretty sure she was. Thank you for coming, everyone. She looks beautiful. Wow, you look beautiful. Splendid. Amra just don't care. Is your right? Have you nothing to say? <laughs> he keeps on, like, looking up, going, Ah, no. Princess, we must go now. Agent number eight. I care, Garnet. You look really nice. Obviously, you're a queen. You're going to look nice. Dagger, wait. Zidane needs to grow a pair of balls, seriously. Dagger, is this the last time we're ever going to see each other? Oh, no, of course not. I won't be able to wander around the world with you anymore. 
But I'll never forget our journey together. To be honest, I prefer Aiko anyway. She's a better white mage than Garnet. She has holy for fuck's sake. Dagger don't got holy. Dagger. I want you just to remain good rivals forever. Rivals? Aiko, you say the funny things sometimes. Oh, there are some things I wanted to give you. Let's treat the jewels as a symbol of our friendship. Two of my jewels? Two of my jewels. How do they have two? Seriously, how do they have... Because you've got, like... Obviously, you get the Alexandrian jewel. I get that. They can't class the Lindblom jewel as their own, surely. And then you've got... Because the four jewels are... Oh, yeah, you've got Alexandria's jewel, Medane Sari's jewel, Lindblom's jewel, and... Clara's jewel? So that's four. Why didn't they say anything? Oh, blah, let me say that sentence again. Why didn't you say anything to her, Agent Brick? I don't know. I tried. And? I couldn't say anything. I had a whole speech ready for her. But what, it would have been a lie. How could I lie to her? Good luck, Dagger. I'll be watching you from afar. Come find me if you need someone to talk to. It's a big fat lie. That's not how I feel at all. That's not how I feel at all. Well, grow a pair of balls and tell it. You've got to tell these people how you feel, otherwise it just builds up inside you. So, there's only room for Dagger in Agent Number 8's heart. I wish I hadn't written that stupid letter. Agent Number 8 looked so sad. Well, I feel fine, but Zidane's obviously very depressed. Isn't there anything I can do for him? Ah, age number eight, I hate you. You're fucking six. You're six years old. How could you be this... Oh, I don't know. I feel bad about ditching him, but I really don't feel like seeing him tonight. i got to hide before he shows up. Oh, I love this bit of the game. This is class. Sugar, someone's coming. Could it be age number eight? Oh, this is class. I love it. Ah, so Mark is a blanket here. There's no one here, bro. I guess I'm early. Maybe. I wonder who wrote you that love letter. Well, just read the letter. I bet she's beautiful. Really? Are you sure you didn't write it yourself? I mean, you caught the letter falling from the floor above you, right? I'm telling you, she was too shy to hand the letter herself. Drop it. And if you don't think I'm a ladies' man, you're wrong. Chicks are intimidated by good-looking guys. <laughs> Someone's coming. Marcus, don't interrupt me when I'm talking. Let's hide, bro. All right, all right. Oh, you dropped the letter. Good God. And I'll go Rusty's on the case. I must tighten up security around the castle from now on. Oh, hang on. I'll put my Rusty voice on. Dust or dawn, rain or shine, I must patrol the castle. Right, clear. Left, clear. Huh? It's a piece of paper. This looks like a letter. Let's see. While well, the night sky waves the moon as its pendant, I shall await you at the dock. This is the letter that Dr. Tot wrote as a writer. I could come up with that. My, my goodness. This is a love letter. Who wrote it to whom? Hmm, no address or addressee. Did someone drop it by here? Knowing I would pass by? Who could it have been? Oh, and bang, there's Beatrix. Oh, this is class. I love this. This is brilliant. Steiner. Beatrix, was it you? <laughs> are, are they in love? But, bro, shh, quiet. Steiner. Beatrix. Oh, my God, it's happening. Ooh, what's going to happen? My nose is bleeding. <laughs> My nose is bleeding. That's car. Stick your thumb up it. Oh shit! It's happening. Hot chew. <laughs> Fucking Baku boy. Boss. Oh, you totally ruined the scene. <laughs> That's class. I love it. I love it. I'm not gonna lie. I love it. Ah. Uh... That age number eight, where did he go? Who knows? I'll go look for him. 
Oh, Vivi, why are you on your ass again? Hey, watch it! I'm not in a good mood right now. Stay out of my way. Oh, fucking six-year-old Aiko is on a fucking mission. Oh, God, what voice I put on for Tot? Oh, I don't know. Uh, excuse me? Have you seen a old lady named Aiko? Oh. I can't do really high voices, so all the women sound like blokes. It's the nerdy guy. Ha ha ha, you're as energetic as ever. Yep, I'm always energetic. But actually, you know the insight from being rejected by age number eight. You're fucking six. You're six years old. There's laws in place to stop people growing up with six-year-olds. Did you say something? No, I didn't. Did you come here to talk to me about something? Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Your village, what was the name? Madane Sari. Yes, I wanted to ask you a few questions about Madane Sari. Sure, I'll tell you everything I know. You help me out. But why don't we go to your place? We can relax there. To my home? My home is located in Trino. It's a bit far from here. You have to catch a big old giant ass gargant to get there. Trino sounds like a cool place. I'm really interested in sightseeing. I want to go there. I'm coming with you. Yes, said Anne, on the rebound. Oh no, there's a card game tournament going on in Trino right now. I want to participate. A card game tournament? That sounds like fun. That is the most depressing line in this game. I want to go too. I'd like to go as well. Trino, huh? Ha <laughs> ha quite the party this is becoming. Get it? Because of Final Fantasy, it's called a party, you stupid idiots. Yes, Dr. Tort, we get it. It'll be my pleasure. We're all going to Trino. We're all not going to fit on the Gargan. Victory, it only held three people last time. Plus, there's a monster down there. Oh, but the mist is gone. There's still mist here. Kind of looks like the Eva tree before we got rid of the mist. I don't think the mist is as dense as it was before. Yes, I hear that you all stopped the mist. The mist permeated through the roots. That is probably why it still lingers here. That is a gargant. You are not all going to fit on that fucking carriage. Yeah, shall we? They're not, they're not all going to fit on there, I'm telling you. Clowns on a dark night. Oh, well, we all know who these are. Oh god, who let them back in? Where's the guards gone? Oh god, what voice did I put on for them? No one is here. No one is here, really? Yes. Sure. Oh god. Sure, are you about that? That is enough. No, we, we do what? We're going to ask Princess Scarlet if we can return to the castle. Oh, really? Right, okay. Zorn and Thorn. Let me give you a few reasons why this ain't happening. Number one, Black Waltz one. Number two, Black Waltz two. Number three, Black Waltz three. I think that's all the reasons we really need right now. Return to the castle? Can we really? I will not know until... We must hide. Oh, it's the buddy Marcus and Blank. Looks like no one's here. Yeah. I guess it's the only thing we can do for Agent Number 8. Keep up the night watch and preserve Alexandria's peace. So, let me get this straight. Alexandria has, an, has the Knights of Pluto and Beatrix Guards, but they put literal thieves on guard duty. Makes sense. Yeah, I think so too. What a peaceful night. It's almost scary. Okay, let's finish our rounds. All right. There's literal... How, how can you not see them? That was close. Now what? We can't stay here as long as those meddlers are here. We must leave Alexandria. Get out. Kick them out. I don't want to see them again. They literally put three bosses on us and extracted the idols from Garnet. I never knew about the secret passage. I apologize for the lack of space. It's fine. Hey, Amran, have you been here before? What about you? Me? I've been to every place where there are beautiful women. <laughs> I just like, fucking hell. Who is this guy? Can we talk about my Dane Sari later? I want to go sightseeing. Oh, of course. There's no hurry. 
What are you staring at? Let's go. Vivi's like, well, is, is it, are you talking to you? Hey, you. Is she, is she talking to you? Fucking Vivi. Who, me? Yes, you. That's my first time in Trado. Show me around. Then I should go as well. I'll take this chance to relax. What about you, Amrit? <laughs> he just goes, whatever. I don't understand him. You know, today is the last day for the card game tournament registration. Well, then I'd better go register. I'm a skilled player. Please let me know if you need assistance. Hey, I'm not sort of practice that I need your help. I see. Good luck, mate. Have you seen our card record? I will show you. One and no. We have had a perfect game. We don't need your stinking help. I go talk to life. I go, the six year old talks life. Vivi, I think at this point, is about six months old himself. He's manufactured. Hmm, why didn't you. Why didn't I invite you to number eight? Yeah. Those two are thick like bricks. They don't realize how they feel about one another until they're apart. What do you mean? Are oh, you big dope? Okay, listen real carefully. Age number eight really likes Dagger. Well, I'm not a fan of it, but Zidane obviously likes it. But age number eight was that cool, so they misunderstand each other and end up fighting. Now do you understand? Not really. Age number eight wouldn't stop acting cool in front of me either. I don't think he was flirting in front of you, I go. Literally, how many times do I have to say, you are six? It's so hopeless. Hey, what's that? Is that at the card stadium? Uh, hey, wait. She's gone. Hey, you're... Huh? Ooh, I wonder who that is. Find out never. Okay, so we can... Oh, we can move about here. Yeah, brilliant. So let's head on out. Head on out. How we end up here. I never expected to run into you again. Um, thank you very much for your help on the airship. Hey man, no worries. My master's a good man. Anyone, anyone else would have refused. Your master is a good man. So there is still slavery active in the world of Gaia. You learn something new every day. You should thank my master. He's the one who agreed to take you to Alexandria for free. Yeah. So how was the play? Did you like it? Yeah. Wasn't there an accident during the show? Were you okay? Okay, um... Oh, oh, um, well, yeah, I was okay. Good, well, I gotta go back to work. Hey, don't you live near tree now? Yes, I do. Your family must be worried. Go home soon. See ya. See you later, old man. But Grandpa's gone. Uh, pass by home, stay in Trino. We will let Vivi pass by home. Well, since I'm so close to home, I might as well stop by. Yeah, you do that, Vivi. You stop by your home. Now, what I'm going to do... I'm going to watch this ATE. That's what I'm going to do. Memories by the water. Nothing's changed. Damn it! That beard aid didn't fall for it! Gotta find my next scam. Damn, aren't you going to apologise for that? Hey, I'm talking to you! Don't you know who I am? Do you not know who I am? No. What? I'm the infamous. Huh? I've seen you somewhere before. Y you're the flaming aberrant! Holy shit, I'm sorry! What happened, Amaranth? That guy was totally frightened. Why don't you be a bully again, would you? <laughs> Stop being a bully! My grandma always told me that bullies are actually cowards. Just leave me alone. So, so he's travelling with a kid. I never knew the flaming armor had a soft spot for kids. Oh, that sounds so wrong. Well now, excuse me. So weird. Amrant, where are you going? So weird. <laughs> Everyone's just weird. So as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by an ATE, I'm going to first of all cash in my Stellasio. We'll do that first. So let's head on over to the elephant. No, it's not the elephant lady. The elephant lady's dead. The duck lady. That's right, the duck lady. 
so we can cash in our amazing Stalazios. Oh, you have the Libra! Give it to me in turn for a reward. Yes! You can have my Libra. You are literally extracting it from my soul. There's no physical handover. She just uses her duck powers to go... Oh, we get Elixir. Sweet. Yeah, she can have my Virgo. Fast forward. There we go. Ooh, 10,000 gil. Yes. Yes, give me all the money. All of the money. And a black belt. Fucking sweet. I'm already interested in Corrector Stelazio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we need that price. We needed that fucking gil boost, though. All of the gil boost. I'm going to go into the synth shop, see if there's anything new we can synth. Because we are running pretty low on money. We could go back to the auction house as well. Hey man. What have you got for me? Ooh. Oh, we haven't got any sleep on half though. Because <coughs> I didn't buy any because I'm a div. Uh, ooh, we can need, oh, well, we've already got an extension. Pearl Rouge. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure if it's worth. Not sure if it's worth. If I can get a rod though, a coral ring will definitely be worth. All of the worth. Okay. So, I want to go to Dali. Because in Dali, there's a coffee we can get. I think this is the only point in the game you can get it. No, it's not, because you can get it until the mist comes back. But this is a really good time to get it. So what I'm going to do, before I head on out, I'm going to grab me a drink, because I'm dull and I forgot to grab myself a drink before I left. So yeah, I will be right back. Ah, we're back. One thing I'm going to do before we go to Dali, I'm going to save the game. Because if we do die on the way over... That was quick as way. I think it's this way. Yeah, if we die on the way over, we have to go all the way back to Alexandria. Although, no, I can save on the world map. What am I talking about? I can save on the world map. So, we'll go out on the world map, we'll save. And we will do some shit. So, yeah, there's two reasons I want to go to Dali. First reason, to pick up the coffee for Morid. I think we can actually tin in the coffee as well. I think we can. How many coffees we got? Uh, oh, there. Came with coffee. Uh, yeah, so we should be able to turn in the coffee. So let me just check his equipment. We want to get the most defense and magic defense we can. So we lose a layer of defense to put the magic defense up. Uh, I think we're good. With our setup. Uh, we don't need ability up. Bright eyes, antibody. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so this is quite risky. Because we only have Zidane. And we have to make it all the way over to Dali. So that's first things first. Let me save the game. And I also have Orange Squash. Pretty sweet. Okay. The data has been saved. So let's head on over. 